We'll soft this end. Give it a nice bath. We like sauce on our barbecue. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today, gonna go back to some chicken. Not any chicken, we're doing a spatchcock chicken. Now, I usually, when I do chickens, I cut them in half, put them on my pit barrel, hang them, and that is fantastic. But I got my Gravity 980, so I'm trying different things on that that I've done before, but spatchcock chicken I've never done. Because like I said, I usually cut them in half. So basically a spatchcock chicken, you cut the backbone out, you lay it flat, and you cook the whole thing, okay? And the advantage, advantage to that is it cooks more even, you expose more area to the heat, so it's laid out flat like a book. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So y'all stand by. Uh, let's get this done. We're going to make some brine injection up. We'll get this thing injected. We'll let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. And then we'll, uh, we'll rub it down with some good barbecue spice, good barbecue rub. And uh, when it's done, we'll glaze it with something. I ain't decided what yet, but uh, let's check it out. You ready? Let's do it. So what I got today, star of the show, got a whole broiler. This is a 6.84 pound broiler, bro, broiling chicken. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so almost seven pound chicken. So we're gonna take, we're gonna cut this sucker and uh, cut the backbone out, layer flat. But before we do that, we're gonna make our brine injection up. So this stuff I love, I use this a lot. If you've watched any of my uh, previous videos, you've seen this stuff before. This is Oak Ridge Barbecue Game Changer Brine and Injection. Um, so basically I'm going to take, put it in the blender. So we'll take about three good tablespoons of the injection powder, 16 ounces of water. And today I'm going to add a little something extra. I got here some imitation butter flavor. Um, Myron Mixon, uh, barbecue competition fella. I don't know if y'all ever heard of him. I'm sure some of you have, but he uses this in his, uh, injections and brine. So we're going to check it out put a little butter flavor in it. So let's do this. So we're gonna get our Oak Ridge barbecue rub and actually Oak Ridge barbecue game changer brine and injection. So this is just a, a powder with different spices in it and salt. So we're gonna put three heaping tablespoons in the blender. Be generous. Three heaping tablespoons. So, what's in it? Let me look real quick. Sea salt, raw cane sugar, garlic, black pepper, onion, spices, chilies, backstrap molasses, and maltodextrin. So we've got the powder in there going to take 16 ounces of water, pour it on in there, alright, then I'm going to take about a tablespoon or so of this butter, imitation butter extract, alright, well you can smell that butter flavor as soon as you pour it. So, make sure your blender is plugged in. Now, you can use warm water and uh, to dissolve this, but I like to dissolve it in my blender because it just uh, does it quicker. All right, so let's fire this thing up. I want to get it mixed good. So let it run for a minute. Get this chicken cut up. All right, y'all. So we got the chicken out of the package. Dried it off a little bit. 
it's going to get wet again from the brine, but that's okay. So let's flip it over on its stomach. So what we got here, I got my poultry shears. Here's the tail. So we're going to cut each side of the backbone with the poultry shears all the way down. So poultry shares don't do well with skin. So let's go ahead and do a score the skin a little bit. Help the poultry shears out. So I got some paper towel in there. All right, that little bit of skin. Take the other side. There we go. Now you can keep that backbone for stock, whatever you want to do. So, what we're going to do, we got to flatten this out. So, we got a little bit of stuff inside, clean it out a little bit, make it pretty. So, this bone right here, we're going to take, give it a little cut, not too much, and then give it a push. There we go. So we want to lay this thing flat, just like that. Got some excess skin and fat we don't want. We'll get rid of that. What's up here? We got some excess flap skin. I ain't gonna worry with that too much. We'll take a little bit off. Got a little bit of you know, liver, or kidney, whatever that is. We'll get rid of that. All right. So that's your basic spatchcock. It's laid out nice and flat. Like I said, normally if I do this on my pit barrel cooker, I'll cut it all the way in half. But doing something a little different today, like I said. What do we got here? This is all good. So there we go. So it's gonna sit on the cooker just like that. Clean it up. There you go. All right. Let's get this thing injected. All right. So this brine's been sitting here for a few minutes. Let me give it another little spin. All right. Now we'll take it, pour it in a container. So I put my chicken in a pan so it doesn't go all over the place. Got our injection poured. Now, if you ain't got an injector, I mean, you can buy one. They're cheap. You can get different kinds. They're very inexpensive. You can get them at Walmart, anywhere, grocery store. But if you don't want to inject it, what you can do is drop this in a plastic bag from this point and just pour the uh, brine over it and let it sit overnight. See, when injecting it just, just helps it... Uh, brine quicker so let's fill our injector up and we'll get down here in the breast get it injected up now you don't want to use this for catfish bait this is for eating so we'll go down in there again Shoot it on up. Just go to different areas. Keep moving your needle around. Just give it a short, a short push. Get them breasts up. Nice, nice, nice. So I think to get the legs, I'm gonna flip it over. So we'll get down here in the thigh. Or actually, let's push this all the way into the leg first. Let me see. There we go. So down into the leg. Get the leg all injected. Bring it back. Get inside the thigh real good. There we go. Do 
the same thing on this side. Lift it up, get down inside that leg. Get it shot up. So this is going to keep it moist and it's also going to impart some awesome flavor. All right, let's see here. Use some more of that. Let's see about these wings. Love wings. Got to get the wings. Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. So I'm going to try to get the needle. Follow it up along the bone into the wing. There we go. Try not to stab yourself. If you can see that wing puff up. There we go. Get this side. Let me see here. Get down inside that wing. All right, let's see if you can see it puff up. Let me move this over. Look at that. See it puff up? Pull it back a little bit. Let her puff up. Get right here. There we go. Get right here. Now, get you a Ziploc bag. Let's see if this will fit in this one. Might need to get a bigger bag. We'll see. Mm. Yep, this bag may not be big enough. We're gonna try though. We're gonna try. It's awful slick. Wings get caught. There we go. Yeah, that works. So we'll pour the excess brine in there. Leave that in the pan. So we had a little bit of brine left in the blender. So we'll take all this leftover brine. Put right down in there on that chicken. There we go. Seal it up. Push the air out if you can, all the air if you can out. All right. So, we're going to leave this in the pan. Well, it's the one to seal. Come on, baby. There it goes. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Here we go. So we'll put that breast side down. Put this in the fridge for at least an hour. Okay, now if you're not injected and you want to do this overnight, then we'll get the cooker fired. All right, y'all, chicken's been in the fridge for a couple hours now, so let's go ahead and get it drained. And then we'll get it rubbed down. I think today we're going to go with the uh, Uncle Steve shake. We've got some Uncle Steve's, the spicy R, or the spicier. <clears throat> so, what we'll do, get some duck fat, spray it down some with some duck fat. Get our shake. Rub it down, sprinkle it down. Back to the wings. Back side of the legs underneath. So this is going on the cooker this way. So let me get this arranged. We'll pat it down a little more. And go this way with it. I think it'll fit better. 
get our duck fat spray, spray it down real good. Get our shake, 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 shake. Under the armpits. All right. Like this for a few minutes. It is raining outside. So we'll see if that rain slows down a little bit. Then we'll get this on out there. Here we go. Looking good. It's raining out here today, so we went ahead and got this thing fired up. I didn't record any of that, but if you can see that, let me see here. We're sitting at 350. Got some apple wood chunks inside. There we go. Got some apple wood chunks inside. Looking good. So, let me go get the chicken. So here's my beautiful spatchcock chicken. Ready to go on. So, we're going to take this, put it skin side up. Let that go for a little bit. I'll go ahead and bring my meat probe in. I'll go ahead and stick it in that breast right there. So when that breast hits about 175 or 165, we'll check on it. There we go. Spatchcock chicken. Got the cooker at 350. See how it goes. We'll probably end up uh, finishing with Sweet Baby Rays. That's what Mama wants Sweet Baby Rays, so that's cool. So we'll see you in about half an hour. We'll come check on it. All right, these uh, chickens have been in here about 20 minutes. I'm gonna drop a chunk of apple wood in there. Generate a little more smoke. All right, y'all, this chicken's been on here about 30 minutes. Let's take a peek. I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with some duck fat. See what we got. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. So the internal temp of the chicken is about 109. So we want to bring that up to about 165. All right, y'all. This has been on here close to an hour. Uh, according to my meat probe, got 159 internal on the where I got that uh, thermometer at. So uh, let's check it with the old thermal pin. See what this thigh looks like. Ain't no way. 190. 153 in the deep in the breast. Tell you what, let me go get a pair of tongs. All right, then let's flip this thing over. Now Got some uh, sweet baby rays mixed with some uh, apple cider vinegar. We'll sauce this underside down. See if that breast side will crisp up some. All right. 
We'll leave that just like that. About 10 minutes, and we'll come back and check on it again. All right, y'all, been 10 more minutes. Let's flip this thing back over. We'll cross this side. Give it a nice bath. We like sauce on our barbecue. All right. Like I said, this is Sweet Baby Ray's cut down with uh, apple cider vinegar. So we'll give this about 10 more minutes and we'll get this chicken off of here. All right, y'all, this chicken's done. Let's get it on off of here. Get the food probe out. All right, <clears throat> slide it off onto this tray. There we go. That is lovely. Let's get this in the house. All right, y'all, smelling good up in here. This thing's been sitting up underneath the uh, aluminum foil for about 10 minutes or so. Let's take a look. Man, that looks right lovely. Here we go, y'all. Spatchcock barbecue chicken. Yummy. Yummy. So we put the cotton glove on. The nitrile glove over top of that. So, I'm going to cut this thing in half. All right, set it over here. Let me get a plate. <clears throat> so, what I like to do, get this wing off. Oh man, it's falling apart. So I'll get that wing off of there. Get the leg and the thigh off of there. Set that over there for a minute. So, Let's get the breast meat off the bone. Just come down, cut it right off the bone. Got a little bit of bone left there. All right, move that on over here. Then I'll just take and carve that breast meat. Now if you can see that, it be nice and juicy. So, let me put some of this breast meat on this plate for Mama. There we go. Stir it up a bit. Get some macaroni salad on here. I'm going to take this to mall. Be right back. Here we go. Alright y'all, here we go. Barbecue chicken. Spatchcock. On the Char Griller Gravity 980. So, let's check it out. Got a piece of breast meat here. Here we go. Smells awesome. Y'all ready? Taste! Oh my. 
Mmm. Tender. Juicy. That brine injection made it full of flavor in there. So, let's take a bite of this here. Uh, this is the thigh. Look at that. Mm hmm. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Taste! My favorite. Oh my goodness gracious. That is so juicy. Mmm. Tender. Full of flavor. Oh my goodness. Sweet doggy. On the back. I'm try this macaroni salad. Like I said, this macaroni salad will be on a separate video. There you go. So watch out for that video. Taste! Mmm. Very good. Very good. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all uh, stopping by my channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, leave them below. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.